Hello all and welcome to lesson 5 of our Unit 2 DNA and Genetics Unit. Now you're probably wondering what happened to video 2-4 since we just took a quiz on sections 2-1 through 2-3 and now we're in 2-5. Well, 2-4 was originally going to be all about the cell cycle. But I decided that since the cell cycle is kind of just an intro to mitosis, that I would go ahead and lump the two together. So cell cycle is what 2-4 was going to be, and now we're really just talking about 2-5 or mitosis. So the cell cycle consists of several phases. We have the cell's interphase, so that's this long loop. Pretty much interphase is everything that's not mitosis or cytokinesis. That whole thing, that's interphase. We have G1, which is growth period number one, the cell grows large enough to allow for DNA to replicate itself during the S phase. And then the cell grows again during the G2 phase. And finally, the cell enters mitosis, which is the division of cells from one cell to two. And then the cell goes back into interphase and continues on in the circular pattern of the cell cycle for its entire life. Okay, so let's review what a chromosome is. This is our chromosome of a eukaryote. I say it's a eukaryote because it's X-shaped. Remember, if it was a prokaryote, it would be circular in form. We have two sister chromatids. That's going to be, if I were to cut the chromosome in half at this point, this would be a chromatid, this is a chromatid, this whole thing is called a chromosome. The doodad in the middle a little button looking thing is called a centromere. Okay, thing in the middle is called a centromere. And then this central area, this part right in here, that is the kinetochore. Okay, so centromere is the center part of a chromosome. And this middle part, this whole region, is called the kinetochore. This thing right in here. Okay. And the kinetic core is important in the next couple of steps. So keep that in mind. So what exactly is mitosis? Mitosis, the definition, if you will, is when one cell splits into two genetically identical daughter cells. So one cell turns in to two cells, identical to the parent cell and identical to each other. It could be considered cloning at the cellular level. Organisms must use mitosis to reproduce. Without mitosis, cells could not reproduce and divide, which means we would not be able to live nice, long, healthy lives. Okay, We must add more cells so that we can grow. So during your adolescence, when you go from an infant all the way up into adulthood, your body is adding cells. And as an adult, the average adult has roughly 37 trillion cells. That's an awful lot of cells, 37 trillion of them. Okay, there are four major sta stages inside of mitosis. So all of these stages occur inside of mitosis, and they are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Once again, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So prophase, what occurs here is this nucleus, this orange, what is now dotted area, would be if this was during another part of interphase and not mitosis, this nucleus would be intact. As you can see, it's kind of going away here. So the nucleus disappears during prophase, your chromatin, remember that's DNA in its loosely spaghetti-shaped format here, okay, begins to condense into chromosomes, which look like these guys, and centrioles begin to move to the ends of the cell. So this could be early prophase, and this is late prophase. This is the same cell at the beginning of prophase, we have loose chromatin, we have a nucleus still, we have these little centriole things, these guys right here, 
and they begin to pull away from each other and they go to the end of the cell. So eventually these centrioles are going to be on exact opposites of the cell. You can see towards late prophase our DNA has condensed down from loose chromatin into a chromosome. Our nucleus is going away and our centrioles are getting further apart. In metaphase we now have our condensed chromosomes lining up in the center of the cell, so along this central axis right here, okay? And you have these spindle fibers, which are these guys. Let me change colors here. Spindle fibers, which are those guys, coming off the centrioles. Remember, these are the centrioles. You have spindle fibers coming out and attaching to the kinetochore. Remember, I said that was important. The spindle fibers connect to the kinetochore, which is close to the middle of the chromosomes. And that way, the spindle fibers will be able to pull apart the chromosomes into their sister chromatids. So a quick way to remember metaphase is that metaphase results in chromosomes in the middle. So metaphase equals middle. Okay. In anaphase, we actually have separation of the sister chromatids. So as you can see in metaphase, uh, or in the, uh, during metaphase, you'll have the chromosomes still intact with one another. And during anaphase, the spindle fibers, which attach during metaphase, pull apart the sister chromatids. So now instead of having an X, there's one chromatid, there's the other chromatid. Okay, here's my chromosome. Instead of having this, where they're all attached, we now have a separation of the sister chromatids. So... Again, during anaphase, chromosomes get pulled apart, okay? So chromosomes are pulled towards the centrioles, which again, these are the little centrioles. In telophase, our last of the four major phases of metaphase, the cytoplasm begins to pinch together on the outside. So it begins to pinch together on both of the outsides. That's the cytoplasm. Okay, the nucleus begins to reform again. The chromosomes begin to unwind. And when chromosomes unwind, we end up with chromatin again. And then the new daughter cells, which these will eventually, this uh, cell membrane will completely separate during cytokinesis. And we will have two brand new daughter cells where we had one before. Okay, so... Mitosis looks a little bit different whether you're a plant or an animal. In plant mitosis, you don't have the spindle fibers. Those were the things that were attached from the centriole. So if I have a centriole here, and the little spindle fibers come out and attach to my sister chromatids. Again, my art skills are just phenomenal, I know. Okay, So spindle fibers in an animal cell will attach to the chromosomes or the sister chromatids. In a plant, this does not happen. The cytoplasm during telophase also does not pinch in in a plant. Instead of the cytoplasm pinching in, we actually just have a new cell wall growing because remember, plant cells are very rigid. They're like squares, okay? So when we have replication or mitosis in a plant cell, instead of cytoplasm pinching in, in this direction, we just have a new cell wall growing in the middle. And then that'll be two separate cells then, okay? So no centrioles, no spindle fibers, new cell wall growth, okay? And in animals, we do have centrioles, we do have centrosomes, which is another name for spindle fibers, and we do have cytoplasm that pinches in, no cell plate or cell wall, okay? Cell plate is another way to say wall. And that is the difference between plant and animal mitosis. Okay, and it looks like that is going to be our last slide of the lecture. And for those of you just waiting and waiting and waiting what our secret number is, that secret number today is going to be 32. So our video secret number is 32. Hopefully you like this new format, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in class and getting your feedback 
and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.